Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, you're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm gonna get into the guts of this Polaris for Music slash Bad Cat Explorer type thing here that has pickups labeled EMG. I really, really don't think these are real EMGs. In my initial video of this guitar, they were extremely microphonic. And I've never heard of real EMGs being microphonic at all. So this is a bit of a mystery, I think, and a few people have asked me to open it up to take a look, including Colin Scott over at uh, CS Guitars channel. He wants to know what's going on in there too, because he's a pickup boy and he thinks about pickups all the time, all day long. That's what I imagine anyways. <laughs> I'm hoping I can loosen up the strings enough to just pull off the stop bar here and put them all to the side and not have to restring this later. I should probably have a capo ready to clamp down the strings of the nut. Got my D'Addario maintenance kit here where I keep all that sorts of stuff. I think I'm just gonna unscrew the end posts here and then screw them back in. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. All right, here we go. Gonna find out what's in these pickups. While I have it open, maybe I'll even swap out the bridge pickup for something else. Are we ready to take a peek? Interesting. Huh. Wow, it is it is a resined brick. That's something that Steve was curious about. He wanted to know if it was going to be a standard pickup under there or if they were going to have a bunch of resin in there the way that EMGs are kind of floating in resin. And what do you know it's floating in resin? That's a lot of mysterious black goo. So we can't even see What's in this pickup? <laughs> All right. Keep your secrets, bad cat. Apparently we don't get to find out what's going on with this pickup. But there's no markings back here. It's clearly not a real EMG, right? It's amazing to me with all that black Tasha Yar killing goo in there. It's still microphonic. It is a solid brick of goo and plastic. And the top of the pickup sounds hollow, but the sides sound solid. I wonder if I cut off the top of this if I would be able to see what's underneath there. I might have to do that. Just for science, you know? It's for science, guys. It's just a two wire humbucker here. No extra special tricks or anything. I wanna go cut the top off of this. Oh boy, it smells funny in here now. <laughs> I attacked it with an angle grinder to take the top off and uh, it was about what I expected. A double white humbucker in there. I didn't expect it to be double white, but yeah, it is just swimming in wax all around it. You'd think that with that much wax in there that it would be silent, that it wouldn't be microphonic. But I found this with that Firefly guitar that I took a pickup out of, that they're just soaking the pickup in wax 
when they put it into these cases, but they're not soaking the part of the pickup that actually needs to soak up a bunch of wax. They're not soaking the coil. They're doing this after, you know, they wrap the coil and stuff like that. At least that's my understanding of where they're going wrong with these wax pottings, with these affordable pickups. But this is very interesting. The fact that they gooped over the bottom to make it look like it might be, you know, an active style pickup, when in actuality, it's, you know, your standard passive humbucker in here that's just floating in wax. And that is wax. So you can scrape it away with the screwdriver there. It's soft stuff. It looks like there might be four wires internally. I mean, if someone wanted to go to the trouble of rescuing this, there's probably a way to do it, but just buy any cheap humbucker to replace these things. I'm gonna go throw this away right now. While I've got it all open, I might as well throw a different humbucker in there. So let's check the drawer, see what I've got. Got two different zebra buckers here. I like to keep my pickups fresh in these little Ikea Tupperwares. In reality, it's, you know, I'm, I'm not actually trying to keep them fresh, but giving them, you know, a container keeps them from sticking together magnetically and risking, you know, demagnetiz demagnetization is the word I was trying to say, or just messing up the magnets in general. So I've got a GFS thing here with some terrible soldering work going on. This is from my early days of doing my own guitar work. And an unlabeled thing here. But this kind of has the metal look to it. I don't know what this is, and I'm gonna go with it. I My, my multimeter broke. <laughs> I need to get a new one. So if anyone can recommend a multimeter that I can get off of Amazon or Sweetwater or wherever, send me a link down in the description. Hopefully I have enough lead on this. Oh yeah, I've got plenty. Let's get it in and then I'll wire it up. This is where I feel a little bit lost because this is a mystery pickup, it's unmarked. I don't know what the color code is. Clearly the red and the white are the coil split because those are already attached to each other. I've got green and black. I'm gonna assume black is the lead and green is the ground. I think it maybe doesn't matter. I'm not super smart with this stuff, as you can tell. <laughs> used to this pickup in anything. Maybe it'll surprise me and uh, be terrible. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if it was worse than the pickup that I took out? Easy pickup swap. Unless I plug it in and turn it on and nothing happens. <laughs> Which is always a possibility. I'm feeling pretty confident about it though, considering I'm bolting it back together. I'll plug it in before I string it up. Both coils seem to be working. There we go. Ah, I should have put some of the fretboard conditioner on this. Let's see if I can get it in there still. The fretboard looks pretty dry. I'm just going to use a paper towel with some of this Daddario Hydrate stuff on it and see if I can make it pop a little better. Oh, look at that. It's already looking so much better. It's the little things, right guys? Little details. 
that make a guitar more pleasurable than it was before. Wow, that's really soaking it up. I'm just going to put it directly on there. Get a bunch on there. Not the most ideal application ever. I got it all over the place, but man, does it look a lot better now. That was a dry fretboard. Okay, now to the important stuff. How does that pickup sound? Am I still in tune? Here it is. Uh-oh. It's not grounded. Oh man, you can't stay grounded when you're not grounded. Okay, let's open it up and see what I messed up. <laughs> what a tease! I would have noticed if it wasn't grounded before. How is that not grounded now? I'm going to try swapping that green for the black. These things are never as easy as I want them to be. Pickup works the same. I'm still getting a buzz. Weird little surge in the static when I press the strings. If I press the cable and ground to that, and then and the buzz goes away. Oh. I think I think I know what's going on. Why didn't I catch this in the last video? I think this hardware is painted with something non-conductive to make it black. And that grounding isn't transferring to the stop tail. Incredible, just incredible. It needs a new stop tail to ground. Or I need to get in there with a file and grind it out a little bit <laughs> so that it makes contact with the posts. Even the posts aren't fully conductive because it doesn't fully ground unless I press. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> All right, well, let's see how this thing sounds now. Will it still be microphonic on the bridge position? I'm sure it'll be on the neck because it was before. The sound of the neck pickup is just that it's so microphonic. Enough of that. You don't need surfy stuff with this. You want the metal, right? And you want to hear if it's microphonic. up a little bit. No. 
is picking up a little bit, but it might just be my voice moving the strings or something else magnetic here. Looks like the, uh, the whole pickup could come up quite a bit. I've got it down pretty far. <laughs> That grounding issue. Why didn't I notice that the other day? Did I not have it the other day? So weird. Yeah, I probably should have swapped out that neck pickup too, but it's kind of fun to have a microphonic option there. It's kind of a cool look too. What do you think of the look of it now? Zebra bucker in the bridge, a covered humbucker in the neck. We know it's not a real EMG, it's an OMG. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that a real EMG? No, it's an OMG. <laughs> but this is starting to go in a more fun direction. A few people on the last video of this guitar said that they bought one. And I showed all the reasons why, you know, you're going to need to do work with this guitar when you get it. So I'm looking forward to people telling us what they got in the mail, what showed up, what work they had to do. Uh, swapping the pickups, I think, is a must at this point. Apparently, I'm going to need to modify that tailpiece. I think it definitely needs heavier strings. The low E feels really floppy on this. Like this could take something quite a bit beefier. So I'm probably gonna try this with heavier strings before I do a full like intonation and truss rod adjustment on this to see where it lands after putting heavier strings on it. But I would like to spend the time to get it dialed in to play as nicely as it can. And then maybe I'll dream up some sort of wild mods for it. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, what do you think about the fact that these, that... I was talking, and then I fumbled what I was trying to say. And then I thought, oh, Ryan, just, just pause for a moment and pick up clean where you left off. And now I can't remember it. So let's just do the outro to the video. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys think? What do you think about what I've discovered here today? What do you think about the fact that this guitar came with pickups with EMG logos on them, when in fact, there's, there's no way those are EMGs. Even if EMG is out there making dirt cheap budget versions of pickups that have their name on them, officially licensed or something like that, I don't believe that those were EMGs. What do you think about the fact that this came with counterfeit in appearance EMGs? Because they're not counterfeit in construction. I'll say that. Uh, otherwise, what do you think about the project? What do you think I should do with it? Where do you think I should go with this? I think there's solid bones here. I think there's a fun guitar waiting to be dialed in. It's, it is already fun, but it has some things that need to be worked on. Uh, I think the strings need to be heavier. The low E on this feels a bit too floppy for me. I want to really dig in and feel like some high tension wire going on when I chugga chugga with this thing. So I think I'm going to throw a set of heavier strings on this next and then dial around the truss rod and the intonation and uh, the nut height that was an issue on this in after doing that. But other than that, I'm not sure where to go with it next. I, I do kind of want to leave in 
that neck microphonic pickup. It'd be kind of cool to have a kill switch on here, like an arcade button, like right about there. I'd have to remove wood to do it. But it'd be fun to have that microphonic feedback and just ding, 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 you know? That'd be fun, right? <laughs> so anyways, looking forward to reading everyone's comments. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon, buy a shirt if you're naked, and stay grounded. Bye, everyone.